I have some graphics here inside of After Effects that I would like to add some animation to. So I'm thinking I would like to animate the hands on this clock. So I'm just zooming in a little closer. And you can see down here, I have an hour hand. I'll just lock and turn off the visibility of that and turn on the visibility for this minute hand just here. So I'm thinking I would like to rotate this, as I said. So I'm gonna press R to bring up my rotation options. And if I click and drag on the number just here, yes, it's rotating, but obviously around the wrong pivot point. So it's rotating around this anchor point just here. So I really need this anchor point to be down here. Let me just undo this because with a vertical hand, it's gonna be slightly easier to set this up. Okay, so we know we need to move the anchor point. So I'm just gonna close the options for the minute hand down and then open them back up again so I can see them all just down here. Here's my anchor point just here, X and Y values. So if I grab the Y number and if I move that, Yes, the anchor point is moving relative to the hand, but the problem we also have is that the hand is now moving on the page. So if I move the anchor point into the rough position that I want it to be, I then have to go and find the position value and then move that hand into place. And of course I've lost where it was originally. So it's just a bit of a big mess really. So let me undo a few steps just here. Is there a way to move just the anchor point without moving the artwork? And thankfully the answer is yes. And there's a specialized tool that'll let us do that. So up here, so here we have our selection tool, which is the one we generally are using. But the one we want is this one just here. It's called the pan behind tool, also known as the anchor point tool, and the keyboard shortcut is Y. So if I go and grab that, if I go and grab the anchor point, fantastic, now the anchor point is moving and the artwork is not. So of course I want the anchor point to be roughly just down here, but I'm gonna step this up a notch and do this with even more precision again. So let me undo that. I'm gonna zoom in even tighter again, and I'd like to drag out some guides. So I'm gonna press Command or Control R to bring up the rulers. And then from the rulers, I will drag out a horizontal guide here, and then a vertical guide just here. And then up under the view menu, I will come down to lock guides. That way I can't accidentally move those guides around. Okay, so let's go back to our pan behind tool, which we already had. And I can now grab the anchor point and check this out, it snaps nicely to those guides. So fantastic, that worked perfectly. And now if we go down to the rotation values for that minute hand just there, if we play with the rotation, check it out. It's now rotating perfectly around that pivot point just there. So if I uh, lock and hide that layer, I'll just turn on the hour hand just here. So this will be nice and quick to set up just now. I already have the correct uh, tool. So I can just grab the anchor point, snap it to that guide, and there we go. So if I zoom out a little bit just now, I'll select both layers after I unlock and show that minute hand layer. Select both layers, press R to bring up the rotation. So now I can rotate, say, the minute hand wherever I like and the hour hand wherever I like. And of course I could keyframe that and turn it into a nice animation. So that's it there, guys. The pan behind tool, also known as the anchor point tool. Catch you later.